What's going on guys, Bijan here. So if you wanna be up to date daily on automotive news, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Today's episode is an interesting one. So when you think of hypercars, when you think of the best of the best, the best built, the most speed, the maybe you think of Italy and you think of Pagani, or maybe you think of Germany and you think of Bugatti. Now, I guess Bugatti is technically made in France, but Volkswagen basically owns everything under the sun, including Bugatti. So one country I'm sure you didn't think of, Albania. But a man named Kendrin Taki, now I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, has that exact dream. He wants to build Albania's first, first of all, supercar. And then he put that on pause to now build a hypercar. The supercar was gonna be called the Ilrian Pure Sport, but now this new hypercar is gonna be the Arrera Automobili. And it's gonna be a very interesting car. So it looks pretty nice if you go ahead, check it out here. Now it's got 1800 horsepower, over a thousand torque. These are the claimed figures and a weight of 2,700 pounds, which means it's gonna be a fast mamma jamma. Now the exact model is gonna be the Arrera SD Plus and that name kind of means something. So S is for Skanderberg, which is a military, uh, Albanian military leader. And the D is Roman numeral for 500 claiming that the car is going to be able to go over 500 kilometers an hour. Now, 500 kilometers an hour translates roughly to 310 miles per hour, and it's SD+. Plus. So the goal is to go over 310 miles per hour, which would set some pretty records, and that's his exact goal. He wants this hypercar to be a 310 mile an hour high speed record breaker, and to do it very, very beautifully. Now at the moment, all we have are these really pretty renders. Now we should see some models and some press cars be made hopefully by the end of this year. So it'll be interesting to see what markets he's trying to attack or where he's trying to send the car, or is it gonna be like a cheaper hyper car that can achieve these insane figures, or is it gonna be made to the absolute highest standard and go after names like Pagani and Bugatti? Put up a couple more of the renders here so you guys can kind of see like exactly what the car looks like or what the renders are. It is a very pretty car as far as the renders go. Now, I'm not sure how useful that rear wing is. It looks very, very tiny in comparison to the rest of this car. Um, because of the color and because of the high scooping fenders in the front, it kind of reminds me of a TVR Tuscan, Tuscan TVR. Um, I'm hoping it handles better than TVR because that car was known to be very tail happy, very fish taily, very hard to control and be all over the place. Top Gear did a video on it many, many years ago where they were constantly spinning out on the test track, dry, wet, it didn't matter. It did great donuts, which is fantastic if you're in a park car park trying to show off but for the rest of the time I want to be able to go around corners and go around the canyons and push the car and not be worried about spinning off and going off a cliff or into a mountain. Now I hope the SD Plus goes from render to an actual press car or a test car because it would be really nice to see what people have to say about it, to see walkarounds in it. I'm sure we're not going to get any of these in America but I'm sure they'll end up in Europe so we'll see uh, Grand Tour and hopefully Grand Tour and some other companies be able to look at the car, take photos, walk inside, maybe even drive the car to see how it drives, see how that engine works, if it's reliable, if it's made to the highest standard or if it's just going to be like a cutthroat race car, super, super lightweight, which kind of looks like that's what he's going after. With the amount of weight that he's shedding off the car, keeping it at 2,700 pounds, it kind of looks like he's going after that aggressive race car status. That's going to be it for today's automotive news. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button down below. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm. Have a good one. I'll see you guys on the next one.